In the second part of Crochet Lace Tutorial 6, I will continue the work and show you how to crochet the next motifs. Let's begin the third motif. Turn the work and to make the foundation ring for the third motif, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and work a slip stitch through the first single crochet. Then turn the work counterclockwise and begin working the first row. Make three chain stitches up, then double crochet seven into the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the last double seven. I made seven double crochet stitches into the ring. Now we need to attach this motif to the previous one. Do it by making a slip stitch in two top strands of the treble. This is the last treble of the second row of our previous motif. Then work slip stitches through the post of this treble to reach the chain stitch that our treble is coming out of, to reach this chain stitch. So let's begin. Work a slip. Remember, make loose slip stitches. One, two, and the last slip stitch. And three. Then work a slip stitch through the chain stitch that this treble is made through. Now to continue with the second row, turn the work, chain 4 for the chain space, 1, 2, 3, 4, and treble crochet through the second stitch. Skip this first stitch and treble crochet through the second one. Again, chain 4 for the chain space and treble crochet through the second stitch. Repeat 1, 2, 3, 4 chain stitches and treble crochet through the second stitch. And the last time, 1, 2, 3, 4, skip this double on previous row and treble crochet through the next chain stitch. The second row of this third motif is made. Now turn the work to begin the row 3. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn, then double crochet 5 into the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, and Five. Then double crochet through the treble and again double crochet five into the next chain space. Two, three, four, and five. Double crochet through the treble. Continue and double crochet till the end of this row. Here I worked five double crochet stitches into the last chain space. Then to work the last double, yarn over, insert the hook through the slip and chain stitch like this and work a double crochet through. Then, to complete this row, work a slip stitch through the foundation ring of our previous motif. And to begin the next row, stay on this side and make a slip stitch through the first single crochet of the first motif. Like this. You remember the foundation green of the second motif is coming out of this single crochet. 
Now to continue, turn the work and work the last fourth row of this third motif. Single crochet through the first double. Two, three. Then through an each of next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Then through the next stitch, work a single crochet stitch and a pico on top, chain three and slip in two strands of single crochet. Here this first pico should be made above the double, which is made above the first treble. Now continue single crochet through an inch of next two stitches, one and two, then through the next stitch single crochet and work a pico on top, one, two, three chain stitches and slip. Repeat single crochet two, one, two, and single crochet with pico on top. Again, single crochet two in a row, one and two, and single crochet with pico. And the last time, single crochet two, one, two and single crochet with pico one two three and slip here i made five picots one two three four five now to complete this row single crochet through an inch of next six stitches two three four Five, and the last single crochet work through the chain stitch six. I have just completed the third motif of my lace tape. Now after this motif we need to crochet another one on the opposite side following the same pattern. Let's see how to do it. To begin the next motif turn the work and to make the foundation ring, chain three, one, two, three, and make a slip stitch through the first single crochet. Foundation ring is made. Then again, turn the work, crochet the first row. Make three chain stitches up, one, two, three, and double crochet seven into the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the last double, seven. Now attach this motif to the previous one. Do it by making a slip stitch in two top strands of the side treble stitch. This is the last treble on the second row of our previous motif. Continue work three slip stitches through the post of this treble. Work along the post. Three. And then work the last slip stitch through the chain stitch that this treble is made through. Here I made Four slip stitches. Now to continue with the second row, turn the work, chain four, one, two, three, four. This is for the chain space and treble crochet through the second stitch. Skip this one, work through the next one. Again, chain four and treble crochet through the second stitch. Repeat two more times, chain four and treble crochet through the second stitch. And the last time, chain four and on previous row skip this double and treble crochet through the next chain stitch. Second row is made, turn the work, chain three to bring up the yarn 
then double crochet five into the chain space one two three four and the last double five then double crochet through the treble and again work into the next chain space continue and work double crochet stitches till the end of this row here is my row of double crochet stitches i worked five doubles into the last chain space now to continue Work yarn over to make the last double. Insert the hook through the slip and chain stitch here. You remember here we worked slip stitches, so insert the hook through the top slip and through the chain stitch that the slip is made through and work a double crochet stitch. Now to complete this row, work a slip stitch through the foundation ring of our previous motif. Row is completed. Now to begin the next last row, make a slip through the single crochet of the motif that is before the previous one. You remember the foundation ring is made through this single crochet stitch. Now to crochet the last row, turn the work, single crochet through the first double, then single crochet through in each of next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. I made six single crochet stitches in a row. Now single crochet through the next stitch and work a pico on top. I always double check myself at this point. This first pico should be made above the double, which is made through the first treble. So let's continue. Single crochet through an edge of next two stitches, one, two, then single crochet and work a pico on top. Repeat three more times. Single crochet two, one, two, then single crochet with pico. Again, single crochet two in a row, one and two, then single crochet and work a pico on top. And the last time, single crochet two and single crochet with pico. Now to complete this row, single crochet through an inch of next six stitches. Two, three, four, five, and the last single crochet work through the chain stitch. We are done with the fourth motif. You can continue and repeat the same motif over and over again. Follow the same pattern. This is the two side lace tape. It doesn't have right or wrong side. For my project, I'm making the same crochet lace tape but of variegated yarn, which looks more interesting than in one color. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more free tutorials.